I'll be preaching today from a very familiar uh, scripture to some, and maybe some is hearing it for the first time, from St. Luke chapter 18, verses 1 through 8. Shall we stand for the reading of the word? And I'll be reading from the King James Version. And as he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Saying there was in a city a judge which feared not God, neither regarded man. And there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him, saying, Avenge me of mine adversary. And he would not for a while, but afterward he said within himself, Though I fear not God, nor regard man, yet because this widow troubleth me, I will avenge her lest by her continual coming she weary me. And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge saith, and shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily, Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the ground, I mean, on, on the earth. I'll be, uh, my subject that I've chosen today is, don't give up, prayer still works. Don't give up, prayer still works. Ushers, you may be seated. Thank you. Bill Hibbles tells about an interesting experience after a baptismal service in their church. He writes, I walked into a woman in the stairwell who was crying. I thought this was a little odd since the service was so joyful. Yes, yes. I asked her if she was all right. She said, no, I'm struggling. She said, my mom was baptized today. All right. I prayed for her every day for almost 20 years. The reason I'm crying is because I came this close to giving up on her. After the fifth year mark, I said, who needs this? God isn't listening. After the 10 year mark, I said, why am I wasting my breath? After the 15 year mark, I said, this is absurd. Yes. After the 19-year mark, I said, I'm just a fool. But I kept trying. I kept praying. Even with weak faith, I kept praying. Then she gave her life to Christ as she was baptized today. The woman said, I would never doubt the power of prayer All right. again. All right. Sometimes when we pray and pray, uh -huh. we feel like God is not hearing our prayers. All right. All right. So we stop praying. Jesus told his disciples, 
that men ought always to pray and not faint. In other words, don't lose heart. Don't give up. The prophet Isaiah said it like this. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Why should we pray? Because for Christians, Prayer is necessary. Right. Yeah. Jesus told his disciples in Matthew chapter 26, verse 41, watch and pray Amen. that ye enter not into temptation. Yeah. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Right. Why should we pray? Because prayer is the only way we get things from God. James 4 and 2 says, Ye lust and have not. Ye kill and desire to have and cannot obtain. Ye fight and weary and war. Yet ye have not because ye have. Ask not. Why should we pray? Because there is power in prayer. John 16 and 24 says, Until now have ye asked nothing in my name. Ask and ye shall receive, that your joy may be made full. to 
to a judge's head. Yeah. And if they're not careful, it can impact their adju adjudication of the law in their court. Right. Because they are to render justice, it is vital that they fear God and respect man. Christ describes a judge who seems to be weary of his job. Too many people uh, with endless complaints and needs coming to him for decisions, advice, and assistance. After a while, it becomes just a job rather than a calling or a duty. The sense of purpose in the role can be lost. Uh -huh. A judge is responsible for ensuring that the law is followed All right. and the jury determines the facts. Yes, yes. In cases without a jury, the judge also is the finder of facts. All right. uh -huh. Judges must be impartial and strive to properly interpret the meaning, significance, and implications of the law. As Christ's story goes, within this judge city lived a widow who had a problem. But the problem was bigger than she could handle. Someone took advantage of her condition. And the result was, and 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 the someone took advantage of her condition. She was unable to rectify the situation. Her only resource under the law was to go to the judge and plead her case. She pleaded for justice for the judge to listen and see that she was in the right and to intervene for her. She made multiple trips to the judge to plead for her, but he wouldn't listen. Time went by. The widow's pleading was persistent and unending. She needed help. She needed relief. It seemed hopeless. Her situation seemed to appear, appear hopeless. All right, all right. Even the hardest heart that will not yield to sympathy at another's condition right. can be worn down through sheer bother. Right. You know, if you bother somebody long enough, you want to get rid of them. It's kind of like a fly nagging, just nagging and nagging. Sooner or later, you're going to kill him. Just judge. 
judge of all the earth, and his judgment is always fair and impartial, and his timing is always appropriate. Jesus then gives his point, and shall God not avenge his own elect who cry out day and night to him? Though he bears long before them, the elect of God's people, called to chosen and faithful members of the body of Christ. This statement has a message for those called by the Father to be part of his church. There are moments when even the elect of God will question whether he hears their prayers and understand what they need and, and understand that they need immediate, immediate answers. All right. They make their daily requests before the throne of God, yeah. pleading for justice, for healing, for peace of mind, yeah. or for forgiveness and a clean heart. Yeah. When sleep escapes them, and they awake in the middle of the night, unable to sleep, they pray, seeking understanding and comfort. Yeah, all right. God hears it all. Christ said he bears long with them. He knows instantly, before we appear in his presence, what we need. He hears every word of our prayer. His ear is not deaf. Luke 18 and 8 says, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Uh -huh. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. Yeah. Sometimes we might think that God don't hear us or he's very slow to respond. Yeah. Jesus asked the question, Shall he find faith on the earth? Yeah. You see, faith is what the persistent widow had. Right. Faith that her cause was just and she was in the right. right. 